Good morning, everybody. It's Nancy Lynn from Awesome Canine, and I have a couple things I want to do with you guys today. Um, the first thing is that I don't know about you guys, but is anyone getting cabin fever? Because um, I think I'm starting to go stir crazy. I know that my dogs are for sure. Um, I'm not even sure if it's Sunday or Tuesday. Uh, anyway, but I've seen my neighbors dress up and put the garbage out. Um, I've spent time with the dogs watching out the window, you know, just for any signs of life. Um, so this is, you know, this is, this is brutal stuff. And our poor dogs are locked up in the house. So, you know, even just seeing the UPS guy go by is exciting anyway, but you know what? I can't take it anymore. That's why we're going to talk about bolting out the door today. Take that off. There. All right, you guys, let's, let's go into the training room and see what we can accomplish. So let me just get in here. All right, let's open the door. Okay. Okay, go ahead. And I'm going to come in here. Let me close this door. So much for getting out of the house, you guys. Jeez. Now I know what the dog feels like. Huh, that's not good. All right. So anyway, so let's, let's see what we can do today to get some things happening. Also, I have a challenge for you guys when it comes to the sit-stay. So today's going to be all about doing the sit-stay, excuse me, and the place. So let's get set up here. Um... Let's get set up here, and I'm trying to change my camera. Oh God, it won't let me change my camera. There it is. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get set up here. I'm just gonna tighten this up, guys. So we're good to go. All right, so what I wanna work on today, and I'm gonna come back in front, and we're good to go, is I wanna work on the I want to work on the place and the stay. The reason why this is so important, the reason why this is so important is because, is because, sorry guys, I'm just having a few technical things here. There we go. So the reason why this is really important, especially, well, anytime, if you live on a busy street and you open your front door and your dog goes bolting out, or a pizza guy shows up and the dog goes crazy, um, I've always tried to train my dogs to have some kind of a threshold where if the door is over here, say, well, we'll, go, we'll use the door. If the door is over here, I'm going to decide that if this is tile or a mat or flooring, I'm going to decide that, you know, this is where, this is the line where I want my dog to stop. So whether I have a change in flooring here or I have a, a, a staircase starting or a wall starting, I'm going to make that line the, the line that they can't cross. So we're going to practice that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just show you the simple stuff of doing the sit-stay and the place when you don't have a place mat or a place bed um, for certain things, give them a marker. And it's always nice to practice with something. So even if I have to take a towel, I'm going to grab a towel and I'm going to grab a dog. Um, I'll take Coop. Come here, Coop. And I'm going to clip this on Coop. Come on, Coop. Cooper, come. So just for the heck of it, I'm going to put this down here so that Cooper has a place. And I'm going to start further away and further away. So let me get a leash for him. Oops, that's not a leash. Here we go, Coop. Hang on a second, let me get the dog. Come here, Coop. Yes, let's go. Right here. So what I want to do first is I want to Cooper place. Sit. Good. So I'm going to give him a place, and I'm going to start by doing my sit, stay, ah, Cooper, sit down. Good. Stay. I'm going to do my step in front so I'm locking. Look. Stay. Good. You wait. So I'm going to go to the door, and the first thing I'm going to do is just sort of open it and close it. Then I'm going to come back around, stay. Ah, ah, Cooper, sit. We're at practice today. So, and this is where 
where you want to practice this so you get good response. With no distractions, the dog should stay here and do it. And then I reward. So I'm going to do it again. Ready, Goop? Stay. Wait. I'm going to go back. And now I want to just like open the door and look out, see what's going on. I might step out the door if he's still there. Wait. Good. Then I'm going to come back, close the door, and come around. Look. Yes, good boy. Good job. So now I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to keep increasing the timing that the door is open with no distractions, but then I'm going to start adding distractions. So stay, wait, I'm going to open the door. And now I want to open the door, and I just want to stay here and look out. First I'm going to start here and go, you wait, and I'm going to stay here. So then you start with small distractions like this. He's got to stay there, and I'm going to reward. Yes. Good boy. Good job. Stay. Okay, so now I'm going to walk out the door. I'm going to tell him stay because I'm going to walk out of sight. So I'm going to go past the door, and I'm going to come back. Ah, ah, see, he moves. So I'm going to put him right back in the same spot. Back up. Right in the same spot he came from. Sit. Stay. You wait. Good job. Good boy, kid. So I don't have to keep saying, stay, 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 and all that stuff. I don't want to do that. I want to be as quiet as possible. Cooper, look. Look at me. So you got your focus. Stay. Watch. What a good boy. Now, when I come back to him, there's two things that are really important here. Cooper, sit. Two things are really important. If you're nervous and anxious that he's going to bolt out the door, okay, I want you to be able to take his regular collar, and we're going to talk about back tying a little bit. If you don't have somebody there to help. If he keeps getting up, keeps getting up, you can have somebody come and help, but they've got to have that leash loose, and they've got to be calm. If you're anxious, if I walk out of here like I'm on eggshells, Cooper down. I'm just going to let him lie down for now. Okay, if I walk out of here on eggshells and I go, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, he's going to be, what is wrong with you? Okay, so I have to kind of take a deep breath and go, stay. And just let all the air out. Uh -uh. Oh, we're looking for water. We didn't even give you water this morning. How bad is that? Apparently, we have a water break. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what I'm talking about, to go in and out of the door. The other thing you want to do is you want to have somebody knock on the door. So I'm going to get Lindsay to come, and I'm going to stay here. Okay, and you don't have to knock on the door. I just want you to go in, open the door, and come in. And I'm going to put these guys in the sit, and I've got two other dogs back here. So she's going to close the door, and I'm just going to stay to come in, but I want to put Cooper in a, in a sit first. Thirsty dog. I think it's part camel. Scoop. Really? Wow. What a thirsty dog. I do feed him at home, you know. And he does get water lots. Okay. Come on. Right here. Right here. Back here. Right here. Up here. Place. Come on. Sit. Oh, you're going to lie down. You're tired, are you? Okay. So Lindsay's going to come in. And she's just going to walk in. When you come in, I don't want you to look at the dog. Don't focus on the dog. Don't say anything to the dog. And this is what you have to tell your guests. All right? Is that when they come in, ignore the dog. Because if they look at the dog, focus on the dog. Or you've got those people that always come in and go, Cooper! Right? And they get them all wired up. So I want to make sure he sits and stays until they come in. They ignore him. They can take off their coat. And they come in. And start this even without the doorbell. Then we're going to talk about how we incorporate the doorbell in maybe our next session. Okay, so Lindsay, come on in. So my leash is loose. Stay. Everybody stay. Good. You're not going to look at any of these guys, and you're just going to walk in. Hey, how are you? Good. Okay, and go have a seat. All right. And if the dogs jump up and stuff, we're going to just sit and be calm until they relax. So that's, that's the big thing about the door. Now, one other thing you can do is I use place boards a lot, too. So this is a great way to define space. And I'll do it with... On this. I'll do it with Missy on this. Cooper, you can stay on here. Sit. Cooper, sit. Come on. That's it. Ready? Okay. Now you can get it. Good boy. Okay, I'm going to put Missy up here.
here. All right, Missy, place. Up here, place. Sit. Good. Stay. Ollie. Come here, Ollie. I'm going to take the bone. Come here, Ollie. Over here. Place. Oops. You're, oh, yeah. Okay. Up here, place. Sit. Stay. Everybody stay. Again, so if I can do this, Ollie, no. So he gets off, I'm going to bring him right back. Here. Sit. Does he stay? No. He's like, do I have to? Yes. Okay, it's important that you're not, ah, uh -uh, Ollie. And this is what I want to show. If they keep getting up, don't get lost in this. Come on, Ollie. Come on, Ollie. So this is where I might need a little help, right? I'm either going to back tie him to something, or I'm going to have Lindsay come over, and she's going to stand right here, and we're going to get loose leash, okay? And we're just going to sit. Molly, sit. Okay, loose leash, so you're facing me. You're not standing towards the dog. Sit, Molly. Good. Stay. Missy, stay. So I'm going to do it again. Everybody, stay. Big deep breath. No big deal. Put him in a sit if he gets up. I'm going to walk through the door away. Okay, I want to practice this so when the door happens or pizza guy comes in, I let pizza guy come in. These guys are all in their place. Okay, so that if I have, you know, pizza is the best example because Missy, sit. Uh -uh. Oh, you can lay down. Okay, stay. So pizza guy comes in. You want to feed pizza guy. He's afraid of the dogs that are screaming and yelling at, you, at him, right? He doesn't want to come in. You want to put the pizza down over here so that you can pay the guy. And you don't want the dogs bolting out the door. And you don't want pizza guy to be afraid of the dogs. So I'll do this with pizza guy. Like practice this with food. I'll take food and I'll go stay. Wait. Leave it. And I'm going to walk away. Good. Then I'm going to practice with food. Ah! Back up. Come on. Back up. Missy. Place. Missy. Here. Place. There we go. Why do you fix you up? Sit. Stay. Okay? And I'm not going to let them come and get it. I'm not going to get excited and go, okay, go. See? That's what happens when you do that. So I did that on purpose. Missy, come on. Up here. Here, here. Oh, here are we. Come on, Missy, ready? Place, up here, place. Good girl, sit, stay. So again, pizza pie comes in the door, door is open. I want to practice this. I want to put things down. I might put a plate ah, ah, with cookies or a sandwich or something there. I'm just going to wait. Then I'm going to pick it up. And I'm not going to make it a game for them to go get it. I'm going to come back to them and go, yes. Okay, so this is how it starts. Then you can start with distractions of someone going by the door. So this also works at the window when they're yelling at dogs going by. So that's a quick version of that. And I'm going to show you how to do a tie-out in a situation where you might not have the luxury of somebody to hold a leash. Or there's a lot of distractions and you're afraid the dog's going to bolt. Or you're too nervous about it. Okay, so we're going to do that this time. And I'm going to do this with all three of them. And I'm going to make this really, really tough. Okay, so come on. Come on, Missy. We're going to go over here. I'm going to clip Ollie over here. Here, Ollie. Oops. And I'm going to get a, um, a place bed for Ollie. So we're going to put this here for Ollie. And you can stay with Ollie there. And Missy, everybody's thirsty. Hang on. We're going to put Missy right here. Missy, place. Good.
down. See these strings right there. Down. Okay, stay. Yeah, you can just stay there with your back to him. Because again, if he's ready to bolt, I want him to make the decision himself. He's glued on to Lindsay. So she's going to stand right here. Ollie, come here. Sit. Down. No, this way. Turn around. There. Stay. Oh, you big goof. Yes, you're a goof. Stay. Okay, so you're going to stay right here. When I start to open the door, I'm going to tell everybody to stay. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to stay right here and lock the doorway. But the whole door is going to come up. I want to see if I can get them to stay in and down. And it doesn't matter what's going on out there. Okay, so put Ollie back in the sit and the down. Ollie, sit. Down. All the way. Yes, all the way. Good boy. No. Come on, Ollie. Everybody's off their game today. Down. Stay. Get that butt over. Hey, that's a cheating down. I want him to have his butt to the side. Okay, because when they're stay, so everyone's on the side. If they're like this, they're ready to get up. If they're like this, they're in the relaxed down. Stay, everybody. So here comes the big test. Stay. Uh -huh. Somebody goes by. But this is what you want to practice. So you go stay there. I'm going to walk out. And it's not that nice out. It really isn't. And I'm going to come back. Good puppy, stay. Okay, so we're going to stay here for a minute and see if anything happens. I think there's a dog going by on the other side. There's somebody walking. Let me see. No dog, but we're going to stay and watch them walk by just for a quick second. And then we're going to get questions in. So I hope you guys are putting up comments and questions on the side. Because I'm going to come over and I'm going to go through them all and answer them with you in about a minute. So, guys, stay. And there goes the dog. <coughs> you see? Okay, so this is where excitement gets in. Look. Look. No. Okay. Look. Yes. Stay. Good. Cooper, stay. Now there's a dog walking up the street. Stay. Ollie, sit. Down. You've got to stay calm. Uh -huh. Wait. Well, stay. Missy, stay. Wait. Stay. Everyone stand down. I'm going to close the door. And then I'm going to reward everybody. This wasn't bad. Okay? This is a first for some of these guys. But this is what I want to do is get them used to this. If you do this once or twice a day with the doorway, you can give them a threshold, tell them sit, stay. They don't go out the door. Are you Missy? And everything's good. Okay, Coop, so I'm going to let these guys off, and I'm going to come answer your questions, and I also have a challenge for everybody. Okay, I'm going to set everybody up today to challenge everybody. So I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to flip this around. All right, guys. Hang on, Ollie. All right, let me just get this in place. And let me have a seat. There we go. Oops. So that I can answer your questions. Let me look and see what we've got. We've got all kinds of comments here. Okay. Hi, Jason. How are you? Um, uh, Yvonne, great stuff. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, Chantel, perfect. Uh, Donna, yay, Donna. Hey, Dan, how are you? Um, um, DG, Joan Pichette, I've oh, got all kinds of people on today. This is great, guys. Uh, Barb Croft, say hi to, um, um, to Sneakers. And uh, that's Missy's brother. Um, okay, so does anybody have any quick questions for me in regards to how to do some of this stuff? Um, because, again, you're going to have some dogs that are more reactive than others. So what you want to do is, um, sorry, there we go. What you want to do is you want to make sure that they, um, you know, that you give them the proper distance to start out with. A more reactive dog, I'm going to have to do this from further away, all right? And then I'm going to get closer. But I also have to, the biggest thing is you have to go, okay, we're just going to chill out. If that leash gets tight and you get nervous, the dog's going to bolt, bark, and scream, okay? If it's that type of dog. If it's a relaxed dog or whatever, I'm going to also try this where I take the long line instead of tying them back. When I feel safe enough with them that I think it's, I've got enough distance and I know everyone's going to be safe, what I'll do is I will 
take the long line, walk out with me to do the sit stay, drop it at my feet and give them space out there so that if they do come out, I can step on the leash so they don't like, you know, head to the road or do whatever it is that, that um, they were thinking about doing. And distractions like that with the dogs is perfect. Okay, people walking by so you can sit there and, and you can have a great time with it. Um, there's a couple things I'm gonna tell you guys. There's three things that I wanna talk about. One is, I wanna make this a challenge for you guys. I want everybody between now and next Sunday um, to challenge you with this exercise. And I want you to film it on your phone and either send it to me at nl at awesomecanine.com uh, or you can put it up, I think you can post it on my Facebook page, either that or send it there and I'll post it. Uh, but let's see how you're doing with this. If you can, you know, if you have trouble with this, if you have any other questions with this. So the person that, that sends me some of the most progress with the video, um, I'm more than happy to do like a half hour Zoom consultation with you. So uh, on any of the problems that you're having or any of the issues you're having right now. But this is a great way to practice because I know that we're all getting kind of super crazy and, um, and I know my dogs are restless. We go for two hour leash walks, which I normally wouldn't have time for. Um, but it still doesn't replace the off leash and the decision making that the dogs have to do. So that's the other thing. And then the other thing I wanna do is, for my buddies over at Critter Jungle, who are so good to me for our pack walks, um, we're gonna do this again. This is a, a Zeus nosh, nosh bone. Okay, this is edible. And their secret word is gonna be, you know, the online video, you're gonna mention this video at the cache at Critter Jungle at either Orleans or Carling. And you're gonna say Zeus, and you're gonna get 20% off one of these. All right, so, um, when you go there to get stuff or you need food, throw one of these in, because this will keep them busy too. Um, and the other thing, there was one other thing left. Um, awesome Canine has, is now officially launching an online puppy course. So um, if you go to our website, which is awesomecanine.com, and I will post a link to it at the end of this, um, this live, so in the comments at the bottom, where you can go and check out. If you know someone with a puppy, it's a really tough time for a puppy because people are um, not able to get out and to socialize as much. Um, the puppies aren't getting exposure they need. So what I want you guys to do is don't stay cooped up in the house. Like get in the car and go for a drive. Do that once a day just to take the dog for a drive and, and a walk. Um, just to get them out, get them used to the car, especially the puppies. Uh, you don't have to go anywhere or go somewhere sort of secluded and take a walk somewhere else. Um, you know, you can do that too. Um, that, um, you know, just try and do as many normal, sort of normal things as you can. Um, but have fun, fun with them, stay busy, and um, um, check out the puppy course, because that is online. We are also doing some online training as well, so you can do lessons online for specific things. Um, my programs can be, you know, managed online, uh, which some are doing right now. So if you have any questions or want to do any training, by all means, get in touch with me. Send me an email or send me a message here or give me a call. Um, check out the website, awesomecanine.com. Go to Critter Jungle for a Zeus bone. Uh, get 20% off. And um, I challenge you guys. Let's see what you got. Show me how you do. Anyway, I'm going to go, guys, because I didn't want to run this long. But um, we'll see you next time. Thanks.